the Braille Bytes logo appears. There are two Braille letter Bs, and animated bytes are taken from two of the dots. Season 1, Episode 5, Tactile Sorting Game. Another activity that focuses on tactile exploration and discrimination is a sorting game using magnets and a baking sheet. Adam stands in a kitchen, wearing an apron with the Braille Bytes logo. Supplies sit on the counter in front of him. The focus is entirely on texture, since the objects are all the same size. In this activity, various textiles and other materials have been cut into circular pieces about 5 centimeters in diameter and glued to a metal disc. Your child will explore this range of textures with the focus on using their fingers, as opposed to enclosing their hands around an object. We'll begin with some key ingredients. First, I have a set of metal discs. These discs were the lid and base of a container of frozen juice concentrate found in the freezer aisle of your grocery store. You could use any set of discs, providing they are identical in diameter and material. Next, I have a variety of felts and textured craft paper. Adam holds up four sheets of craft paper, one covered in blue confetti, one orange felt, one made of yellow craft foam, and one is a sheet of black sandpaper. Ensure that you have enough of the material to cover one side of each disc in the pair. I also have a metal baking sheet as well as some craft magnets. The circular magnets are about two centimeters in diameter. Next, let's mix it all together. We'll start with our material. This is a sheet of medium grit sandpaper. I've traced two discs onto the paper side of the sandpaper with a pencil. Next, I'll cut out the circles I have traced on the sandpaper. You could also hold the disc onto the material and cut around the edge instead of tracing before cutting. Next, we'll glue the material to the metal disc. I typically use hot glue to ensure that everything stays stuck but you could use tape or school glue as well. The circular metal disc has sandpaper glued to one side. On the uncovered side of the disc, glue two of the craft magnets. I've already completed this step using a hot glue gun. Note that I cut out two pieces of each material so that we have pairs. This will be important when we get into the activity. Adam holds two metal discs with sandpaper glued to one side. I've gone ahead and made some other discs. One pair is covered in soft red felt, and the other pair is covered with an orange ridged craft paper. Finally, let's top off the recipe. To begin the activity, place all of the discs onto the baking sheet magnet side down. Mix them up by swirling them around on the baking sheet. This is something that the learner may be excited to help with. Place the baking sheet in your lap in front of your child or have your child sit with the baking sheet in their lap. Together, explore the perimeter of the baking sheet so that your child understands the extent of the space for this activity. Next, explore the texture discs on the baking sheet. Encourage your child to explore with both hands. If possible, try exploring with two hands working together. Find the pairs that are the same and group them by lining the pairs up around the edge of the baking sheet. For example, I am moving each identical pair to the bottom of the baking sheet. You can also sort the discs by contrasting features. For example, the child may move all of the soft discs to the left side of the baking sheet and all of the rough discs to the right side of the baking sheet. This is also an opportunity to work on prepositions and directional concepts, such as on top of and below and left and right. For a copy of this recipe, please see the description below. Braille Bites is brought to you by Braille Literacy Canada and PRCBI. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss our next video about creating early tracking stories.